Hey guys, Sith Lords LEGO Reviews here, bringing you a review on LEGO set 7654. So unfortunately, I don't have the instructions. I used the instructions offline to build this. I cannot remember the piece count or the age limit, but imagine the age limit is somewhere between the ages 6 and 12 or something like that. Um, and this set includes seven minifigures, the only battle pack, first battle pack, and the only battle pack to have more than four minifigures in it ever. Well, okay, there was one other battle pack in 2009, Assassin's Droid battle pack. That had one more than four. That was five, but, but that battle pack sucked. So this one was a much, much better one. It included four battle droids and three super battle droids. Um, and they came with they came with these weapons right here. Back there. Okay. Came with these weapons right here. The old blasters. I guess this was the first battle pack they were going to use these blasters but then I guess with the second battle pack they decided to use the you know the normal blasters not the stupid stud shooters that I hate today but yeah so you got two of those that one's right there and um of the battle droids you would get two to hold the weapons so these two right here, they just basically would have both the weapons like this. You couldn't put them up here because they would fall over simply like that. Battle droids, like usual, they fall over easy. You have to kind of lean them back and straighten up kind of like that. Set them down. And then they would stand easy. That's how you would have to hold the weapons and everything for them wasn't the best these guns I'm just breaking my things apart these guns were okay for minifigures but for battle droids they were not the best weapons you would pretty much have to have the battle droids on lego stands or something for them to basically just stand up so yeah you got two of those right there and got two of these guys. One would be using the speeder here, or you know, whatever it's called. One would be using the droid transport, which actually this is kind of droid transport. It's not like the one that has Jar Jar Binks in it, that Lego set, but it is a droid transport. You got three of these super battle droids, so show you one of these up close. This was the one with the dark pearl battle droid. Let me show you. Yeah, there you go. Just all completely dark pearl. And Lego has not changed these droids. Well, they have changed the super battle droid, the color. But the version and this. It has not been changed. The only change they made in the battle droid is they included a straight arm right here. That was it. I wish they would make a new version of the battle droid and a new version of the super battle droid. That would be pretty awesome. So yeah, you got three of these guys right here. And we'll move on to the set itself. So this set was one of the few sets to include more than one actual little set in a battle pack. One of the very few. But here we have the speeder. It looks pretty good, well designed. It's got the gray guns right there. The battle droid would just basically well you put them up here. Like this. Attach them right there. One and the other arm. Both there. Hook them on. And he went now this is the one default about this speeder 
he didn't have any stand, but hey, he just put him somewhere, I don't know, just put him there. And he could still be seen, just from this angle, it, was, it looks like he's standing on a stand, but he's not. But, you know, whatever. And um, he uses a clear, two clear pieces to represent its flying. So, if that was clear there, these two things don't look the best. Like, split apart, but whatever. Got the two guns right there. And, yeah, that's, that's the speeder. So, let's move on to the transport. So, here's the transport speeder. As you can see, I already included the battle droid and the two gun pieces. Um... So, it's got, well, this transport had a, for me, I, th I think it was a good design. I think some people didn't like it, but I liked it, and uh, it's a pretty good design, as you can see. Give you a 360 view real quick. So, here are the guns. Got two of them right here. Put a little brown piece under. You can see right there. Yeah, this could go side to side. This right here in the middle would stop these guns from it going completely around. This makes it stop. So you can go there and there. And it fits one battle droid as you can see in there. And the two guns go right there. And it includes seven battle droids. Or seven minifigures I could put one there, one there, one there, one there, and then one there. So you got these things underneath, so it moves smoothly, not rough like. And I like those black grill pieces; kind of makes the design look better. And just just how it's brown and gray, I think is a great combination of colors. They picked a great combination. And this was by far well this was the only battle pack that had the most minifigures. At least more than five minifigures. The only battle pack. For ten bucks, it, for seven minifigures, that was an awesome deal. But they didn't keep that going so that was a shame. But at least we got four and not like three or four three or five but I wish they would not put it so high like fifteen dollars I wish it was cheap so yeah so we'll head in out to the thoughts of this battle pack so would I recommend you to buy this battle pack I definitely would I think you can still find it on eBay for Maybe twenty twenty five dollars in Brickwink, probably twenty or even less than that. So for that deal, even though it was more than ten dollars, but for that deal for seven droids, that's an awesome deal. Even though these aren't the best minifigures, still a great deal, and it included a great so selection: four battle droids, not just all battle droids, but four battle droids three super battle droids, not just like one or two, three even better and awesome and the design of both are great just that part, that clear part there I have a problem with and if it had a stand, but yeah if you can find this for pretty at least under $25 including the shipping 